Welcome investors! Today's video is going to be dedicated to Intel, which on Friday, July 29, experienced a decline in shares of 8% because of very disappointing second quarter results. Intel's revenue declined 22% year over year and missed the predicted revenue by 14%. It is the largest company disappointment since 1999. Intel ended the second quarter of 2022 with 454 million net loss, compared with the net income of 5 billion in the year over quarter. Intel lowered its full year expectations. It says it's now sees full year adjusted earnings of $2.30 per share and revenue of $65 billion to $68 billion. The guidance from the three months ago was $3.60 cents in adjusted earnings per share and $76 billion in revenue. Basically, all this disappointing data sends Intel's shares down at some point even 11% during Friday's July 29 trading day. Intel is planning to slow down its hiring process. And $23 billion is going to be only spent as a capital expenditure in comparison to $27 billion being planned. Intel's share have fallen about 33% so far this year, while SAP 500 index has declined only 15% in the same period. So now the question is, is the Intel a good buy or it is a dead cat bouncing? Three points. Point number one, Intel is in the process of totally refocusing and making chips and building new factories in US and in Europe their priority again. This is mostly to compete with Chinese, Taiwanese and Korean chip manufacturers. But chip development cycles take between three to five years. And current CEO of Intel, Pat Gelsinger, has held his job only for 18 months, so the jury is still out on whether this strategy can succeed. By 2027, we will all know if the current price $35 per share for Intel is a bargain. Point number two, Intel, Intel is divesting from another project. He wants, they want to free the cash and use it for their major building factories for chips. Point number three, there is a chip act where there is billions of dollars spent by the government and most likely Intel is going to be major beneficiary of these subsidies. And given the push to bring chip manufacturing back to the US, Intel will likely benefit, benefit long term when this money starts flowing into the company. So my verdict is that Intel is a buy right now for contrarian investors. There is a lot of risk in buying Intel right now. For example, the refocusing process could not work for Intel and Intel could be buried far behind the competitors. But there is a lot of potentials as well as don't forget about this that Intel is a not startup. This is very well established company with market cap $160 billion. Intel is struggling for past five years with the variety of many bad acquisitions and wandering around instead of focusing on what made originally Intel a great company. And right now it seems like Intel decided to focus strictly on making microprocessors, which always was Intel's bread and butter. So current disastrous second quarter is a great time to buy Intel at the deep discount. In order to show you 
that I always back my words with actions, I want to show you my 2000 shares of Intel, which I purchased recently, most of them on Friday, July 29. I want to take you to my account and show you that I'm betting deeply on Intel because this company manufactures little things which we see more and more in more and more products nowadays. So, and I think that this is a great long-term investment. And uh, I saved some money for past few months and I didn't know what to do with this money. And after research, I came to the conclusion that Intel is going to be the best place to protect my money against inflation and get great dividends. Intel is paying above 3% dividends. Okay, so let's take a look at my account and see how my Intel shares freshly bought are doing right now. Intel shares, uh, total uh, Intel shares which I own as of right now is 2014 shares and 7320. Uh, this uh, 0.7320, that's the dividends. Uh, what I bought is uh, this 2014 shares. Uh, market value as of uh, right now is $71,845.34. Uh, this is uh, the amount which I spent on the shares, which is $74,787.22. So currently I'm down $2,941.88. Uh, shares I started buying in April, you can see here April, April, then May, 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 June, 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 June. And uh, right here is the Friday 29, July. Those uh, purchases are during one day and they account for uh, around $50,000. Uh, so the majority is bought on the, this past Friday, July 29, when Intel went down 8% because of this uh, horrible uh, results uh, and uh, financial uh, reports from the second quarter. And so, but for me, it is the opportunity to scoop this great company at the discounted price, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, everything is, not everything, but most of these uh, uh, numbers are red, which means that uh, I'm down, but I'm not worried about this because this buy is uh, at least uh, 10 years range so I'm looking at this company and I see already year 2032 where the Intel is going to be at least 150 or 200 minimum per share uh, and I would rather keep this money in Intel than just keep them uh, keep this money in my uh, savings uh, account where uh, we have right now inflation hovering around 10% uh, and basically this money is losing value month after month. So I would rather keep this money in, in this stock. And uh, this sudden downturn, I was not planning to buy uh, that much Intel, but uh, after a quick banking, I just came to the conclusions that uh, this, is, this is the company which is... Uh, making the products which are being used in many, many and more and more products in the current world. So, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, and uh, it's one of the top and it's actually the biggest manufacturer of the chips in, in the world. 
Uh, but like I stated earlier, Intel has some troubles, uh, has some problems uh, during past five years, which creates opportunity. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here. If you like this video, hit the thumb up, subscribe to the channel and share this video all over social media with your friends. This will greatly help me to build a very simple investing channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy and well. Have a great day. Okay, now a couple more, little bit more personal informations. First of all, this video I decided to make because my son said that uh, I haven't made videos for a long time and it's been almost a month and a half. So I decided to do it. I'm currently very busy with my work and I honestly didn't have time, plus I was a little bit lazy. But I want to show my son Jacob that his father is not lazy. And besides working 60, 70 hours per week, he can also do something extra. So I want to show him and be a good father and show him good example that if I can do this, he can do it too. All right, Jacob, remember. <laughs> take example from your father thank you so much and uh, I'll see you later